Hey, don't die, Engineer Bob. Welcome to this episode. Bit of a longer one today, but I want to cover a couple of three things. One is exploring the local area a bit, um, seeing what else we can find in the way of food and possibly planting some more seeds. And also a bit of strip mining, so uh, we need to go and find some more resources. Could do some iron, some new coal. And uh, you never know, we, we did get the right level to find some diamonds, so uh, let's hope. But first things first, we'll, uh, we'll empty our pockets, put things into the chest, and then we'll go out and have a look around the local area. <coughs> so, almost good to go. Morning is broken, as they say in the, uh, the famous hymn, so let's go have a look. Always wise to travel without too much in your inventory, because uh, you never know what you might find. You can bring things back. Here we go. Quick look out the window. Anything? Oh, fairly safe. It's not likely to walk into Mr. Creeper as soon as we go out the door. So. Quick run away from the house, get out some space, see what we can see. All the time being a bit, a bit wary. Oh, there are kind of fairly deep caves and chasms, not, not huge, but deep enough for things to hide in, so always wise to look. Got some chickens, we can uh, pick up a few eggs, you never know, we might be able to uh, make a little chicken farm. And two chickens come lots of chickens, so all you need is a bit of grain. Hello, chicken. Yep, sounds good. Only a spider. Hang on. Where were you, Mr. Spider? Probably down under, underneath in that uh, the end of that chasm or cave. But we'll keep moving. We're not looking for spiders today. No particular uh, race to find them. Try and stay away from things that might hurt us. Or we find out the lie of the land. More chickens. Don't know where to come for chickens if we're stuck. So that's a uh, desert. Quite frustrating that the cacti look uh, remarkably like creepers from a distance. You have to be a bit careful. There's always the chance of finding a moving cactus that goes kaboom. So, uh, Good one to bear in mind. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's desert. We might explore the desert, but not today. Try and uh, find desert temples. They're pretty good. It's a good source of TNT, which is uh, it's always handy. It's a bit further down the track. First of all, we'll just uh, get the lie of the land, the local area, just to make sure that uh, nothing, nothing too hostile in the area, or that we at least know where all the good sources of food are. So, raw materials and food, plenty of trees, we can uh, cut some trees for wood and put, replace them with saplings so that they grow back. And quite a lot of sand around us, water, so that's it's not a bad thing. It's all gravel beach, it was good for finding flint so we can make arrows. So we've got a few arrows, we haven't got a bow yet. We need enough uh, enough spider string to make a bow, but that's not far off, I hope. So we've got clay. Whoa, that's a long way down. We'll uh, we'll give that one a miss. If fancy falling down there today, that would be a very short video. We'll wend our way back. You can see the house in the distance, so uh, always good to stay within reasonable running distance. It starts to get dark, or you come across uh, really something very unpleasant, you can always run home. So this is going back uh, to the way we went the other day, to uh, where the sheep were, so we can give that a miss. Cut back in, around the other side of the house.
few water ponds and little holes in this world. It's uh, it's quite an interesting spawn. We shall uh, have to make a note of the seed in case people want to play it. It's uh, full of little underground crevices like this, which are all very interesting until nightfall when they fill up with mob, no doubt. Things that just want to harm you. But so far, so good. We're coming back around towards our uh, little crop field. <clears throat> Planted some corn, so uh, hopefully we can A, make some bread, and B, if our eggs uh, transpire to become chickens, we can actually make some chickens, which is good. Source of feathers, source of food. So let's, uh, let's wander on up. Crops to our left now, so we're just literally finding out the lie of the land, following the river river course up, keeping an eye out for things. Um, actually, one of those blades of tall grass in the distance is a, a creeper, so we won't go too close to him today. Got our sword, but uh, no need to take unnecessary risk. We'll make our way back. What I do want to do is, uh, is clear some grass so that we can make some more seed, and I'll plant a second row of seed outside each of those to, that we've planted so far, because uh, we can grow it twice as fast. It, it's quite comfortable growing just uh, just near water, one or two strips away as well. So, what we do for the next couple of minutes is run around with a mad thing, clattering gra grass with our hands, and, uh, Picking up seeds. On a nice grassy field, just take the frustrations out. On it. I love love the way seeds make uh, grass seeds can, can grow into corn. This is uh, work on Minecraft or a plate. You don't have to go and find corn to get seeds. So I'm going around it. Yeah, My name is Grab our seeds. Good few degree going on with. Oh. And yep, excellent. We didn't bring our hoe with us, so hoeward bound or homeward bound. In this case, it's two of the same thing. So clear a few dirt blocks away. That's a bit of a random day today. Just check all tidying up. So the higher, uh, higher ground around the bunker visibility just to uh, clear ourselves some space, make things a little bit safer. Things less likely to drop on us out of the blue. Right, no, it's our hoe. We we'll get those seeds in before dark. Here we go. Don't need to do too much in the way of hard work today, we just put the soil in, till the soil, plant the seeds. They'll grow fine, one, uh, one away from the water. Oh, miss one? We did indeed. Excellent. Right. And the other side. Here we go. You can get quite quick at this. You do sometimes miss one, but... It's uh, pretty faster than combine. Oh no, one short. Let me some seeds. Unfair. Ah, good one. In you go. That's it. Two rows of seeds. Twice as many uh, sheaves of corn. We can do some damage. I think we'll go a bit of bit time, we'll make a bit of a longer episode today, so consider it uh, two for the price of one. We've, we've planted some more seeds, we've had a quick look around. So what I think I want to do now is to go down and do some something called strip mining. I've touched on it already, but it's, uh, it's a good way of finding out everything in a certain area. So we'll put our uh, existing iron ore on. That can be smelting. I love the way we can cook our uh, 
cook our mutton in the same furnace that can melt iron ore. <clears throat> and down we go, down to the down to the deep mine. Well, we'll explore off to the sides one day and uh, find out what mobs we have off to the side. Obviously, there's something there, some sort of cave or chasm. Bit of chicken supper just to get us going. And there we are, down on our favourite level. If you're going to mine and strip mine. Get fairly low down because uh, there's a better chance of finding things like diamond at this level. Still plenty of coal, plenty of iron ore, there's redstone. All things that are good and handy. And uh, the method of strip mining is, uh, as you can see here, you, you essentially mine a tunnel every three blocks in width because that way you see or, or actually mine every single block. Uh, on this level, so uh, there there'll be no blocks that we haven't at least seen. We can see both sides here, and the tunnel next door will see the the two blocks on outside this one. So we can dig one in. Just make sure, uh, yep, that's our lava field. We'll, uh, we'll go back in here. Look. Secret is not to dig. Uh, don't dig one too many or one too few because you can miss your own tunnel and end up digging in, digging into the future. So, uh, yeah, I think we use our wooden pickaxe up. It takes a bit longer, but uh, it's using inventory space we can do without. So we can either throw it away or we can use it up. Today, I think we just give it, give it its five minutes of fame and uh, dig. It's a bit slower. We've got, we've got an iron pick to take over in a minute. Every so often we'll put a torch. As soon as we, things start to get dark, it uh, makes sense to stop digging every so often and listen for uh, for lava as well, because it's quite easy to dig. It's not too bad um, digging in strip mining conditions, because you can dig quite a way ahead of yourself. If you hit any lava, you can always back off and uh, block, put a block down fairly quickly. It will stop the lava and, uh, chasing you down and filling your tunnel up. Ah, little wooden picks don't like redstone, or do they? Come on now, you can do it. That's a spirit. We'll, we'll leave the redstone for now. We know where it is. You ask my uh, my Minecraft friends; they all know me as a as a miner. As uh, as Jan dies at the end, says, "If uh, leave me fi alone for five minutes, I'll be down to the bedrock." So that's how we play. That's, that's how I do things. Some people build uh, cobblestone machines. You can make cobblestones with lava, and uh, you know this is all unmodified Minecraft and no cheats. You can just build clever little lava sources and. That will help you make, uh, make cobblestone. Oh, well done. Thanks, Pick. We can uh, carry on with an iron one now, much faster. Can you to the ground? Oh, earth. Can we have some dirt? Let's see what we're up against. Ah, uh, my favourite mining. Half rock, half dirt. Keep switching tools, otherwise you end up using up your shovel. Or your pick. So, I'll take another strip. Oh, clumsy. Two, three, three. One to the right. There we go. It's our new, uh, new tunnel. It's a redstone up there. We can, uh, we can dig our way down, we go and come back the other way. 
right? So we can pull out where we want it. Don't necessarily today. It's uh, not really necessary to use our pickup pulling redstone out. We don't want any at the moment. What I'm after is iron, coal, diamonds, things that are uh, useful in the short term. Ah, talk of the devil. My favourite colour, diamonds. We can, uh, first of all, we'll dig around it. No, oh, I'm liking this. So, clear some space. That will go through to the tunnel we dug before. Is there anything above us? Hmm. Below is good. It's always wise to uh, be careful around diamonds. Sometimes you find there's lava about. Be ashamed to miss to, to kind of misplace where you go in and dig into a lava pit and lose all your diamonds. So we'll take them out very carefully. So we've got redstone there, that's fairly safe. These bottom diamonds have nothing below them, so we can take those out. We'll get up here in case there's lava to that side of that one. Nope, so that's uh, some more diamond. We'll take that one. Excellent. That's five diamonds and some redstone for the future. Just fill the hole in. Oh, good shot, Bob. Clumsy boy. And carry on. It's been a good day. We found coal. We found redstone. We found diamond. The, uh, well, we'll be putting this one down as a another good day. No dead, no dead Bob, which is uh, would be rather rather fatal for the video series. We're mining away. Keep your ear open still for lava. That would be embarrassing. And a torch. In future episodes, what I might have done is... Uh, is extended the strip mining so it's not very uh, not very good video it's, it's important that you know how to strip mine because uh, it's the only way to really clear an underground area if you're looking for materials but there's no need to uh, to watch me dig out every block but, oh, some coal for the future what I might do is uh, is put a door at the end of this tunnel, just in case there's, uh, there's dark areas in any of the strip mines. We wouldn't want things uh, spawning and wandering about, coming up into uh, into the house. It would be would be most unpleasant. So, oh, here we go. So sorry, it's been a bit of a longer video today, but uh, covered some good things. So once you've got your shelter, and we found found some wool and built your bed you can uh, you can mine to your heart's content for a while get up some, some decent uh, materials in your, in your chest you want iron, you want coal um, some food we can grow so that we've got good supplies when we want to explore we can move move across the map a bit and, uh, and see what we can see go and do some, some proper exploring for today, I think it's been a good day for me, so we're still here. It's about day day five or six in Minecraft terms. And we've got a shelter. Oh, we've been digging all night, the sun's about to come up. But uh, for today I think we'll call that it. So all good fun. Won't even bother getting into bed, the moon's just going down anyway, so it's uh uh, some, put some trap doors on there sometime, in case, just in case something comes in through the roof. But, uh, again, not very pleasant. But thanks for watching. See you next time.